Dang it, this <laughs> ain't you... Ugh. Okay, okay, so I just saw the Willow trailer, which is the sequel to the original Willow, and as much as I dislike Picard, and again, it's mixed bag. It's nice to have these callbacks, or some people say, you know, beating a dead horse, you know, they trying to re revitalize that cash cow again on nostalgia. Again, this is a different. This what we've got in this trailer. What the feel of it is is that it's a. It's a different world because it's a drastically different feel than the original. As much as next gen as it is to Picard, you know, it's like that's supposed to be the sequel, but the tone, technology, level of acting, it's all different. You know, it's all modern acting with modern techniques. With I'm guessing as few as people as humanly possible. Who actually worked on the process? Who worked on the on the thing, for bringing back at least a handful of the original actors, you know? Because you know, if we're gonna bring back anyone, it's gonna be the actors, not not anyone behind the screen. It, 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 get that? I would I would be floored if they actually brought back anybody from the original, you know, production crew. That'd be nice. And it's like, oh, because that Willow was one of my favorites back in the day in the early nineties. That was, that was one of the good ones. You know, in an action, adventure, romance, stakes, things were believable. Not everything was for a joke, you know. So, having this set up, saying it's coming this fall, I would be interested in seeing where it goes. I'm not too invested in the story, per se, but I am going to give it a, sh a fair shot. Much like Chip and Dale that just came out on Disney Plus, I'm going to reserve all, you know, I'm not going to hate bash it. I'm going to say, let's give it a fair chance. Let's see what we got here. And then, let's see. Let's hope it does right. You know, unlike, oh gosh, um, the, uh, um, what was it, Dark Crystal miniseries prequel. One that was too long, too. It didn't need to be that dark. Like, yes, we get it. They're evil. We go on for another eight seconds of showing how evil we are. Like, yes, we, we, we got that the first time. You don't need to keep and there. Keep going. Ugh, the scene does not need to be, like, 15 seconds of pure evil. You know, it's like, yes, we get it. We get it. And then it lingers on on other things, and it's like... Okay, we get it. Move on. So it's pacing us all over the damn place because it just takes too damn long. It didn't need to be a mini series. This needed to be a movie. Good visuals, though. Good trying to stick to the original concept storyline, I would believe. I don't think it was too different. Uh, but it's just the length of the story was just too dang long. It didn't need to be that long. But anyway, I'm watching Fabricated City in English. Uh, okay, so I gotta go, um, but yeah, I am, I can't say I'm hyped, I can't say I'm disappointed, my first reaction was, no, Disney, you're not doing a remake, but no, it's a sequel, it's like, oh, thank God, it scared me there, because <laughs> like, I guess, hope it was not going to be a remake, and then I suddenly brought back the original actor, it's like, oh, well, that's something, and as the story, as the trailer goes on, it's like, okay, they're bringing back other characters, which I know I'm not going to get many, much screen time, they're just there for nostalgia factor, like for a scene, or, or an episode, or whatever, it's not like they're going to stay there throughout the whole thing. You know, heaven forbid that Disney actually do, does that. And, you know, but we got to bring in that that new generation of characters. It's like, it really it just didn't need to be. Anyway. I can't say that I'm hyped. I can't say that was awful. I am just solidly in the middle. And I'm going to stay there until this thing comes out. And then I'm going to review it myself and then talk about it. And we'll see if it's worthy of being bought on DVD. Okay. Why do you think I have Fabricated City? It's a good story. I'm just glad I have it in English dub. I have to constantly keep reading subtitles. My eyesight is going here, people. Trust me. I'll probably be, you know, legally blind by the end of the decade, if not sooner. All right. Take care. And as always, get to movies.